here's just a thought experiment for you, right? I think a really good thing you can do to understand is something good or is something bad. Because everyone's trying to be the moral judges of the planet. Everyone thinks they're God. Everyone thinks they're above us. And telling, you can do this. You, can, you can't do this. This is moral. This is not moral. This is hateful. This is compassionate. But here's how we really figure something out. Is it good or is it bad? Not morally, but just is it good or bad? Think about it. If something has changed... So the, the closest example that people talk about is presidents. President of America. Biden or Trump. Who's better? And one of the things that the Trump, Trump fans will say is what were the gas prices four years ago was the country better four years ago or now is your life better four years ago or is it better now and that's a pretty good metric to see how good the president is was the country better now or then simple answer it trump was the world was world peace better was america involved in less wars yes they were so that's a pretty easy easy metric but we can say it with other things as well people still push feminism and I, I don't, I actually don't care, even if their arguments are right, even if they're genuinely pushing women's rights, even if they genuinely have good intentions, even if technically they're good, technically they're moral, the simple metric is this. Were women happy 50 years ago or now? Simple. 50 years ago. We know this. Statistically. The, like, the amount of like, antidepressants has skyrocketed. The depression rates in, uh, have went right up. Life satisfaction rates in women have plummeted. So, simple. You can say, oh, feminism's good because X. Feminism's good because Y. Are women happier now? Or are they? Or were they happier back then? Very, very, very simple. And it was back then. And we know it. And another thing. I'm sorry to say it, but racism. Were people... Right. Let me think about how to word this. Nah, I'll just be straightforward. Did we have a stronger national identity? Did we have a more united people? Did we have safer streets? When people were a bit more racist? So let's say 50 years ago, for example. Would you rather live in the 70s or in 2024? Which culture do you prefer? Were they racist? Perhaps. Were they maybe rude? Were they were they sort of bad people? Were they judgmental? Yes. But were was it a better society? Was it a better time to be in? Was it a better culture? Also, yes. I think there's necessary evils in the world. There's, there's necessary evils in the world. It's like this, right? I'm all pro-freedom. I'm not the most judgmental, evil person. Cyclists. Cyclists aren't doing anything wrong. I can make pretty much zero logical arguments against cyclists. But I think hating on them is a very necessary evil. It's wrong to do. You shouldn't hate on cyclists. It's not very nice. People just try to cycle. People try to enjoy the road on their bike. Should we hate cyclists? Also, yes, we should hate It's a necessary evil in this world. Because if everyone started cycling, then the government's going to go, look, 15 minute cities are here, you don't even need a car, everyone's cycling anyway, these bike lanes are accessible, so how about you just drive on the weekends, you know, you know, like, everyone's saving the planet, so why aren't you doing it as well? When everybody starts cycling, then they're going to push these things, they can make it harder to drive, because like, well, it's so accessible to cycle anyway, you, you don't even need a car, so it's, it's fine, it's fine, you know, and they go, well, we can close the parking spaces and, you know, shut all these things out, make it close all the cities off to cars and, and everyone will be like okay but then we're a less free society so i think you gotta hate cyclists necessary evil just like all these other things right is it i was gonna say is it compa is it compassionate to be a trans ally and I, was, I was gonna say technically yes but it's actually technically not because if someone's confused if someone doesn't know what they're doing in life if someone has having an identity crisis you probably shouldn't reaffirm that identity that's a pretty true fact i don't because maybe we are transphobic i don't think because can you really sit there like okay here's the problem people they'll sit there and go no i'm actually not transphobic i just you know i just don't want women's spaces to be infiltrated i just don't want the the trans the, the men and women's sports i just don't believe that they are like come on stop lying please stop lying you're really scared of the internet people 
the blue hair internet people, are you really that scared of your you're scared of hate comments? Like, come on. When a transgender walks past you in the street, what are you thinking? You you're judging them. Like stop stop lying, please. Just stop lying. You're judging them. You're looking at that person going, What who is this weirdo? What is that? And you go, Oh that's that's really mean. You probably you, you shouldn't think that way. Look, nobody told me to think that way. I've just instinctually because this is another problem people make. I'm going to big rant today. A problem people make is they'll say and go, well, what makes it not normal? You only think it's normal because you, you know, because not many people, not many people do it. If everyone did it, you would think it's normal. Normal doesn't really. There's no objective normal. Well, there kind of is, right? There kind of is. Imagine you raised a human. You didn't instill any beliefs in them. You just little child. You didn't instill any values, nobody indoctrinated him, no real influence. He grows to 30 years old. He's never seen a trans person in his life, he's never heard of transgenderism, never heard of the argument, none of that. And then he sees one. Is he thinking, oh, <laughs> yeah, she looks really, he, who, no, he's going to be like, what is this thing? It's, you can tell it's abnormal. You instinctually know that's not normal. You know, like, if you're a dog, and there's, you're a Labrador. Big German Shepherd comes around. He's dressed as a Labrador, but you can tell that dog's gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, he really, he really is my breed. Not that they can think and have these complex thoughts, but still, they're gonna be like, he's he's an imposter. He's not one of us. That's fake. That's weird. He won't he won't be his friend. Well, I don't know if dogs are. Do you think dogs are racist? I don't know. I don't, I've always thought this. You've got two different types of birds. They never interact with each other. Do you think they're like judging? See, that's segregation right there, but we don't judge birds for it, do we? Huh? It doesn't make sense, does it? Think, have you ever seen two different birds interacting, flying around, chasing each other in the sky? No, you don't. You really just don't. They don't really get along. There's less in that. There's a, there's a big lesson in that. You cannot... Imagine there was multiculturalism in birds. That would just be weird. It would be wrong. And you, you instinctually know it. <laughs> but yeah, I think there's many necessary evils in the world. You just have to ask yourself, is the world better then or now? And then you can kind of figure out, like, people, oh, is conservatism right or liberalism right? Okay, well, let's think of the conservative world. The old school, traditionally, the 50s and 60s, people have normal, normal beliefs, literally normal, and life was better that is a better society you would rather live there than you would live in here now so therefore they're probably onto something maybe the intellectuals maybe destiny would pull out his studies and his statistics but it doesn't matter because we live under his way of life we live under his beliefs the schools follow it the schools teach it the government purports the beliefs the big corporations spread the same information he does and now we're an unhappier society and an unhealthier one too. So that's all you really have to ask yourself to figure out is something good or bad. If there was a time in the past where we had this thing and now we don't, and that time was better, simple. So yeah, racism's really good.